Welcome. My name is Craig Morrison, the executive producer and game director for Age of Conan Unchained. Today we are going to take a look at the new adventure pack, the Savage Coast of Tehran. This new adventure pack for Age of Conan will find players exploring the city of Ardashir and its surrounds as they embark on an epic adventure full of political intrigue, backstabbing, ancient evils, scheming priests, pirates, generals, and other disreputable types that call the Terranian coast of the Viliat Sea their home. Players will get to meet up with two of Conan's old allies, Artis and Elishan, who you might have seen in the new Conan the Barbarian movie, and catch up with them some 20 years on. Conan, now king of Aquilonia, has dispatched you to Tehran to aid his old friends. The adventure pack features a massive new outdoor playfield that encompasses the city of Ardashir and the surrounding coastline. It also contains two new solo instances, a new team instance, and new raid encounters. We really wanted to try and address the old development challenge of something for everyone with this pack by providing one strong example of each playstyle preference for people to enjoy. In a city where the thieves and pirates may be the most reliable allies you have, you have to watch your back and keep your blade close. Dead Man's Hand is a huge dynamic instance that scales to your level for players between levels 50 and 80. Players are sent to the island by Conan's old ally, Artis, and ties into part of the greater storyline that players will discover in and around the city of Ardashir. In this case, Artis wants the player's assistance in rooting out a potential traitor within his own ranks. No one ever said that pirates are the trustworthy types. The pirates have made their home on the island despite the presence of indigenous savages who live in the swamps in the center of the island. These dangerous primitives have some strange rituals and are a constant threat to the pirate encampments. The island has a fantastic visual diversity. Despite the almost tropical location, the skies are blackened by the almost constant ash cloud that belches out from the volcano on the island. This also means that there are thermal springs that create dangerously hot geysers in the arid rock valley that sits beyond the main pirate encampment. You could almost think of this location as being the proverbial brooding, moody, darker older brother of the starter zone in Tortage. The Isle of the Iron Statues is a location taken directly from one of Robert E. Howard's original Conan tales, Shadows in the Moonlight, and presents us with another fantastic opportunity to try and translate one of the stories into a single player experience that really allows us to immerse the player into Howard's world and in this case, allow them to follow in the footsteps of the great barbarian himself. The original tale concerns Conan escaping to a remote island in the Viliat Sea, where he encounters the Red Brotherhood, a strange skulking creature, and mysterious iron statues. Over 20 years have passed since Conan first faced those dangers on that island, so all is not as it was in his younger days. Long abandoned by any pirate forces, no doubt due to the dangers lurking in the night, the island shows only glimpses of what was once there and has largely been overrun by the jungle and its wildlife. The ancient evils, however, have not been banished and will challenge the player just as they did Conan himself. Fort Ardashir is clearly visible when you first visit the city and dominates the right side of the bay that leads out into the Viliat Sea beyond. As with the rest of Ardashir and Turan in general, the Persian influence is evident in the architecture and style of the fort and its surrounding area. The ornate pillars, domes, and the walls of the castle create an imposing setting. This is clearly a fortress of a powerful military force. Inside, players will find a really compelling and interesting six-man instance for maximum level players. This new raid instance offers three fantastic new raid boss fights for those who have completed Tier 3 and want to bridge the jump to Tier 4 raiding. 
Players will have heard about the mysterious priests of Ehrlich while adventuring in and around Ardashir, and might have heard the hints of something sinister going on within the halls of the magnificent Temple of Ehrlich. Players venture into the halls of the temple on a quest to discover what ancient evil the priests have been dealing with in return for their power. It also gave us the opportunity to work in some of Conan's foes from stories past, and the players will discover that they might just recognize the source of the evil when they reveal which dark forces it is that the priests have been bargaining with.